Where we at? Where we at, everybody? Hello, hello, hola. San Diego in the house. Tyler Southwood, you get the first comment on the screen. Thanks for tuning in from San Diego. Man, San Diego, San Diego. I would love to visit there sometime again soon. Tyler, you live in a great place to be a runner. How's everyone doing out there? I'll let uh, the live stream breathe for a minute. Make sure we are, in fact, live. Let everyone tune in here. Onward and upward. Okay, here we go. What is up, Nicholas, in the house? That is right. Let us know where you're watching from around the world. Oh, man. Cheers, everyone. Ben is here. Ken is here. Hello, Ken. Hello, Ben. Yes, if you could, hit that like button down below. Let the rest of DGR know that we are, in fact, live out here in the very, very toasty studio. Hopefully, my computer actually does not overheat. And I'm realizing right now that the screen is a little glitchy. And I think it's because my computer is getting too hot. So hold on. Oh, yeah, we're getting way too hot. Okay, everyone, don't leave. Do not leave. You're not going to believe what I'm about to go do. Don't leave now. I'll be back in 20 seconds. Hold on. I love you. Don't leave. Hold on. I told you, I told you I'd be back. So, this is another reason that we're moving. Our house is too small. There's too many human bodies in that small house. And uh, let me know if you can hear me, hopefully. And um, our air conditioning does not work very well, okay? So, bottom line, it's hot out here. It's going to be 100 in like two degrees today in Denver, so I've got an ice pack to cool off my computer. I know it's not like the best situation, but that's just, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's let that cool off. <laughs> the studio two is going to be epic. It's going to, hopefully it's going to, it's going to have air conditioning. It's just going to be epic. Okay. I am back. Let's get some shout outs. Where's everybody watching from? Oh, man. Whew. Sorry about this. It's just a little crazy out here today. Okay. Hello from New York. Let's get some shout outs going. Eileen is watching. Eileen says, can hear you. Great. Hear you perfectly. Dominic. Mariella. Hello, Seth from the sunny UK. Awesome. Sound all good. Video delayed and low frame rate. Mm. Okay. So now let's just make sure low frame rate okay that's right laura innovation a hundred percent laura okay so we're going to get to your questions in a minute and we're going to do something new in the live stream today all right so just bear with me real quick here okay let me pull up discord you better believe it and yes i do have a box to open okay let me just move this down um, okay, so here we go. Let me grab the box. We're going to open this up in one second, okay? Box arrived from DHL, which usually means it's from outside the United States, okay? All right, Jorge is here from Portugal. Thanks for tuning in, Jorge. Oh, man. Okay, so we'll open up that box in a minute. And, whew, I'm just making sure the computer's working out here in the in the heat, Okay, I think we're good now. It's fine on my phone, no delay or anything. Thank you, Laura, for being my tech here. Oh, yeah. Come on, Lucas. Come on, Lucas. I see you now. Let's get it going, everybody, for Lucas in the chat. Here we go. Cowbell time. Becoming a member, and it's perfect timing. Nice. Thank you, Lucas, for becoming a member of the channel. I do appreciate it. You get the cowbell today. Oh, I appreciate it. And actually, it's a perfect segue into what I'm about to say. I'm actually, so if you're on Discord, okay, as a member of the channel, you can ask questions there. I'm taking questions over on Discord in the general chat, okay? 
over on Discord and the general chat to become a member of the channel. Okay, it does help me support, uh, it helps support this channel so I can make the vlog every single day, okay? There's different levels, Butter My Bread Club, Studio Super Fans, DGR Race Crew, and it just, uh, I mean, for example, I may have broken my camera the other day. Remember, did you see today's vlog when I fell down the mountain a little bit? Filming my brother run uh, Pepe's face off. It's a race up in Vail, Colorado. May have damaged the camera a little bit. I still don't know officially. So your support of the channel through your membership allows me to fix um, broken equipment. All right. It's just all part of the game. Making videos on YouTube every single day. Equipment does break. All right. So we're going to dive into questions on Discord. And then we will open it up to general questions here first okay steve mindrup here we go over on discord thank you steve for being a member he asked oh man price drop on the Saucony speeds speeds or mach 4 as a daily now that they've uh now that they're priced really close so i did hear i actually did not know this i started seeing rumblings about it about an hour ago that in fact the speed has dropped so where is the speed at could somebody let me know? Is it, is it, what is the, where's the speed at as far as the price point? Okay. If you could let me know, cause that'll help me determine because Mach 4 is 129, I do believe. So where are the speeds at? That's a, that's a good one. That's a really good one. And, um, I know Amber, another, another camera casualty. Because this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Boom, 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 boom. Mach 4, 129. A lot of people are saying 120. Wow. Okay. Speeds. Speed. It's close. And remember, the Mach 4 does not have any sort of plate in there. The speed, yeah, speed. Whew, that's a doozy. That is an amazing price point. That's an amazing price point, everyone. That's an amazing, I didn't realize it had dropped that much. It sounds like it just happened today. It's been a busy day here filming out here in the studio. That's amazing. Still a great shoe, but that's amazing. If it is 120, there you go. Speed one, 100%. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so good, so good. Okay, let's um take another one from... Okay, Steve also asked, USA Track and Field Olympic Trials, one race you're not going to miss. I always love the 5K, Steve. 5K, yeah. That's my, like, go-to. I love the 10K. 10K gets a little tedious at times on the track, but uh, so 5K is my mojo 100 percent okay mm -hmm -hmm. um mike asks on discord any thoughts about polarized training i read this article about it you know i've oh man interesting so this is interesting so he says so i i'm not as familiar with polarized training but basically it talks about uh eliminating the medium intensity runs from your training and just doing a vast majority of your runs or basically all your runs, either easy days or hard days exclusively. Very interesting. I would have to read the article that you posted, Mike. Uh, that's very interesting. I've heard of this training before, but I, I must say I've never do I've never dove into it. Um, my initial reaction, Mike, is that to build the base, I prefer not to go too easy and definitely not to go too hard. And so I, especially early in the training block, I prefer, you know, a hundred percent, those steady and steezy runs. I'd have to, anyway, I'd have to read the article. My gut is telling me I would, I wouldn't. And it says, this is the fastest way to build uh, your VO2 max. Interesting. So anyway, Mike sounds interesting. Thanks for being a member of the channel. Thanks for asking your question over on discord, but those are my initial gut reaction to that type of training. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, H-Town Q in the house. Thanks for being a member of the channel. Um, I'm just going to tell you right now. I finally...
took this shoe out for a run, a couple runs. Um, the Pulsar. This is for trail trail racing, everybody. The Solomon Pulsar. Unbelievable, 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 unbelievable. All right, so there you go, H-Town Q. That's my quick gut reaction. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so maybe the speed is coming in. I'm seeing $90. I'm seeing $120. So Michael is saying $119 directly from Saucony. Um, interesting. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Andor, I'll get to your question here in a minute over on YouTube. We're going to take some more, fr though, from um, from Discord. Alvin, New Balance's recent contenders, early dark horse for number one selections in the early 2021 running shoe matrix. Okay, so Alvin, thanks for being a member of the channel. Do appreciate it. Here's the deal. I am. I posted about this on Strava uh, yesterday. Man, I just love You guys are just amazing. Ah, uh, just blow me away. There's a lot going on in here. Over 200 people watching in the studio on a Tuesday. It's still technically uh, morning here in Colorado. So here's the deal, Alvin, to answer your question. I'm a, I was uh, I was judging the shoe coming out of the box, 100%. And I feel a little bad. I did not run in the V2 of this shoe because I fe it just looked a little too much for me. But I have to say, and I said it on Strava, Hoka Clifton 8 step aside hoka clifton eight or seven step aside now i've only done actually technically i've done two runs in it now two runs in the new balance fresh foam more v3 wow okay actually i have not weighed it yet it feels a little heavy it feels heavier than the clifton eight but i have to say i'm getting older I need to baby my legs a little bit. I like a little extra cushion under step. And this is like a maximalist clunk. You know, it's it's a, it's a, it's heavy. Or it's, sorry. It's big. It's bulky. That's the word I was looking for. But it felt so good. And yes, felt way better than the Clifton 8 under step. All right? I'm just telling you right now, I preferred the ride of the... Now, I haven't taken it to 50 miles. I will get it to 50 miles before I give you my review Unbelie I was very, very, very excited about the New Balance Fresh Foam More V3. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go with 8.6. Ooh, yeah. Nope, I was off. 9.5. So that's a little heavy, okay? So just keep that in mind. So there you go, Alvin. Thank you for being a member of the channel over on Discord. Taking as many as I can. Pirate Potter, have you ran in the Endorphin Trails yet? I have not. Womp, womp, womp. I do apologize. Okay. I did see a question from Andor Kish over. I want to get you guys in here as well. Thank you, Andor, for tuning in. Uh, Nova Blast 2 or Rebel 2 as the one shoe that can do it all. It's very fascinating. Very fascinating, Andor. Nova Blast 2. The Nova Blast 2 can do the long run. The Rebel 2 could as well. But you got to be a little careful. Okay, I would not I would not recommend the Rebel 2 for long runs. So Nova Blast 2, I 100%. I think you could even use it for a tempo day. It's not the best option for a tempo day. The Nova Blast 2, 100%, you know, definitely not. But it could because it's got that bounce through the midsole. It just has the bounce, the cut. Actually, here it is. Here it is. Come on now. Nova Blast 2. I mean, I think this shoe is starting to ship in July. I love this shoe. Now, eh. It's a little heavy for tempo. 8.8. .8. A little heavy for tempo, for sure. But about an ounce too heavy. But it's not too shabby. And or, thanks for tuning in. Okay, hopping back over to Discord, making sure I didn't miss any. Amber asks, ooh, speaking of, when will we see a 2021 running shoe matrix? Amber, very soon. I hate to say dates because it's uh, sometimes life happens, but... Uh, I, I, I don't want to tell you a date quite yet, Amber, but thank you. I am uh, I, I have started creating the Matrix. I'll put it that way, but I have not filmed it yet. Thank you, Amber, for being a member. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, just making sure. Okay, I think I got all the questions over on general chat. If you have any more questions on Discord, put it in the general chat. Okay, general chat over on 
Discord. 255 people tuning in. Thanks for watching, everybody. Okay, here we go. Onward and upward. Dominic Beacon V3 versus Rebel V2. Um, Rebel V2. Yeah. The Beacon was a great... Ch I actually love the Beacon V1 the most, interestingly enough. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go Rebel V2 there for that. Okay, okay. Here we go. Diving back in. Mm-hmm. Let's see, let's see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Paul, how are the Convara 12 so far? I should probably address the title of this live stream, Studio Jam Sesh, um, which I originally did not uh, spell correctly. Um, I am not a musician. I wish I was a mu I wish I had the talent for music. That is that is way down on the totem pole for me. But we're just jamming out here today in the studio, answering as many questions as possible. So I'm gonna try and be a little more rapid fire. Here we go. Convara 12 so far. Paul, I posted on uh, Strava. I think I said uh, better than expected when I ran in the Convara 12s. Better than expected. Narrow toe box for me. Narrow. Okay, Paul? So I was a little surprised by that, but it was better than expected. Yeah. I would say three to six miles, I think is what I said, maybe three to eight miles. It's got a pretty lean midsole, okay? But yeah, I actually better than expected for the Kinvara 12s. Will it get to 50? I don't know, Paul. I die. It's, uh, I'd say it's going to be tough for it to get, not because I don't like the shoe, but because there's other shoes that are going to bump it out of the rotation all right there you go andy Wright. how firm are the boston tens Ooh -wee. okay let me let me take a little drink here let me take a little drink here cheers by the way sounds like some people are watching some soccer or aka football right now or should it be are watching football aka soccer right now boston tens are ridiculously firm on the first run I did 20 miles. We're talking, I did not enjoy the ride. All right, there, the cat's out of the bag. If you are watching live, now you know. I did not enjoy the Boston 10s. I didn't enjoy the Boston 10s. First run, just my first run. Andy, oh, hold on one second. Hello? Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? One sec. I'll be right back, everybody. I'm doing well. I'm actually just waiting here for the drink. Okay, perfect. Yeah, do what you do. Yeah, you're fine. Perfect. Oh, my, my. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience. Um, we're having our, our house inspected. So, that was an inspector. <laughs> I'm back. Oh man, life is crazy. This is my shed, everybody. This is my shed. This is this is not a joke out here. Okay. Oh man, big super chat coming in from Ron. Here we go, Ron. One second. There you go. Thank you, Ron. $24.99. Awesome, Ron. Thank you for supporting the channel. I do appreciate it through that super chat. Helps me get keep uh, keep the lights on out here in the studio. Unbelievable. Mer Sorry. No, that is not Ron. It's Marius. Sorry. The currency, I think, is Ron. R-O-N. Where is... I am so sorry. It's, it's not Ron. It's Marius. Sorry. Thank you, Marius, for the super chat. Oh, man. It's good. So, all right, Stephen, where's your at? Where are you at? I need, uh, <laughs> I need your uh, currency. Uh, I need your currency exchange. Uh, there you go. Look that up. I don't know. R-O-N. Where would that be? Okay. Life does indeed happen sometime. You better believe it. 
<laughs> now he can take over the live stream. Knock knock. Did you hear the did you hear the actual knock? Oh man, that was funny. Okay. Real deal here. Aldo in the house. Atreyu artist is really all that people say about or not compared with Nike Vaporfly. Aldo, I'm not sure exactly. Um yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the qu I mean, they're very different shoes, Aldo. I mean, the Vaporfly is the next level up, yeah. Uh, sorry, Aldo. If, maybe ask again, and I'll try and help there. Uh, currency alert. Currency alert. Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Romanian currency. Marius. Thank you, Marius. Awesome, Marius. There we go. Now we got it. Hello from Montreal, Quebec. Thank you, Mikel, for tuning in from Montreal. Appreciate it. Um, okay. We heard the knock. Okay. <laughs> failing, 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 failing. Okay, let's let's keep it rolling. Uh, I'm back. I'm focused again. What questions do you have? Onward and upward. Um, G, uh, G, uh, Gilo, uh, how are the Puma shoes? So, love the... Um, Love the DV8 Nitro. I love the ride. It's a little heavy. But the heel counter, major blisters. And I'm not the only one. A lot of people had issues right here. Major issues in the PV, uh, DV8 Nitro from Puma. Okay? And then the Puma um, DV8 Nitro Elite. The midsole is a little soft. And I don't know if they're out here right now. I don't see them. If somebody can see them behind me, let me know. But I don't see them anyway. A little soft. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we're going to open this up here in about five minutes, everyone. Uh-huh. Okay, Aldo. You are welcome. Uh-huh. <laughs> that would be amazing, Anne. I th uh, maybe someday in the new studio. I don't even know. Like You can barely fit one person out here. So, Anne, someday we will get a little Mr. Rogers going on out here. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, I'm hopping back over to Discord just to make sure I didn't miss any questions. Okay, thank you again to everybody. <laughs> oh man, well, little little runner boy, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a funny name. Best easy day shoes on the market. I may have just discovered it. I mean, no joke, everybody. The new, ba I don't know. This has got me very very excited. Now, the other, the reason Little Runner Boy, I would also call this an easy day shoe and not a daily trainer. So this is the New Balance Fresh Foam More V3. The reason is the weight. I actually don't mind a little heavier for an easy day because it kind of forces you to go a little slower. And so nine, what was it, 9.6 in my size? That's kind of heavy. It was amazing. I was to the moon. Every, I mean, I am very, very excited about this shoe. The fresh, more so again than the Clifton 8, okay? So it's, uh, it's just fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Okay, let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised by that keto runner that the Puma line is maybe falling apart quick. Here we go. Ramon Garcia, thank you for the super chat. I do appreciate the support of the channel. What was your thought on the Endorphin Speed 2? Um, I thought it was great, but guess what? It didn't change much from the Endorphin Speed 1, okay? And they, so I thought it was great. The Speed 2 was amazing, but it didn't change a ton, okay? Actually, full review is on the channel somewhere. Just uh, go to the homepage. You should be able to find it. Click on uh, Playlist, or you could search for Speed 2 right there on the homepage, okay? Thanks for being here, Ramon, and thank you for the super chat. But, I mean, uh, yeah, Speed 2, it's, it's a great shoe, great shoe. But it just didn't jump forward a ton from the speed one. Mm -hmm -hmm. Atlanta in the house. Mm -hmm -hmm. Absolutely, Matthew. I think New Balance has outdone the Clifton at its own game. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yes, we were talking about this earlier, DJ. Um, speed one is on sale right now. So pretty exciting. Uh -huh. 
Oh my my, another super chat coming in. That's amazing. Okay, gotta love Mr. Rogers. Yes, indeed. Oh, thank you, Eric. Just support the channel. Ten dollars. Thank you, Eric. I do appreciate. I bow down. I bow down, Eric. Thank you so much for helping out through your super chat. Oh man. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's see, Tim. Do you think Adidas is matching Nike with their 2021 lineup? Boston 10 like the Tempo Next Percent up to the Audi Zero Prime X like the Alpha Fly. Um, I haven't, Tim. I haven't. Um, I don't know, Tim. I don't. So I'm not to the moon with the Boston 10 right now, Tim. I just I would talked about it about five minutes ago. It's just it's a little firm. I'm gonna say it's a firm long run shoe in the running shoe matrix it didn't feel you know a little heavy a little stiff and a little so i i gotta keep testing it but anyway i would say no that adidas at this point is not adidas is not quite you know up there with nike right now but again it's early and i have not even tried out the other shoes that you mentioned so uh the prime yeah the prime x um anyway that's my thought right now. Hopefully, um, Adidas, you know, keeps sending me shoes to test in 2021. Adidas, if you're listening, I'm, I'm ready to keep testing. Okay, here we go. Whoo. Brandon Marino, what do you think of the Endorphin Pros, the original ones? Can they be used for a good workout shoe? They are 150 right now. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good uh, price drop. Yeah. Um, at the same time, Maybe you just get the speed one, okay? But both, I mean, actually, Brandon, I prefer not to do too much training in carbon fiber plates. I think the mids, I think it just creates the, it changes your foot strike too much. And I do like the speed one, or sorry, the pro one, it's a little stiff, a little stiff. You just, just be careful of training too much in carbon fiber plates. That's my approach. Uh, you know, if you want to go really fast in training, yeah. But the speed one might be a better option because it's a nylon plate versus a carbon fiber plate, and so it's just not quite as uh, it's just not quite as intense. Um, yeah. Woo. Anyway, there they are. Speed one, speed two. Okay. Speed one, speed two. Okay. So it's like, yeah, interesting. Woo. Wait, is that speed? No, this is the pro. My bad. That's I. <laughs> As soon as I as soon as I bent it, I was like, "Wait a minute, that's too stiff." No. Anyway, it's 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 a story for another day. Here we go. Um. Okay. Onward and upward. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Should a beginner runner have more than three shoes in the daily trainer rotation? I don't think so. Nope. I don't think so, Bob. I think you could do daily trainer and easy day together. I think you could do tempo day and threshold together. And then I think you could do middle distance and long run together. And the tempo and threshold shoe can also cross over to race day. You know, absolutely. So no, three shoes is brilliant. I think three shoes is a really, really great start. Thank you, Bob, for being here. Onward and upward. Okay, let's keep going. All right, we're going to go for, actually, I'm going to open the shoes right now so I don't forget. Okay, this ice pack underneath my computer is now, uh, it's not leaking, it's just, <laughs> it's sweating because it's so hot out here, so I'm I'm getting uh, dripped on out here. Fun, fun. Uh, <laughs> people just joining the live stream are, are like, what is Seth talking about? He's going crazy out in the studio. Mm -hmm -hmm. endorphin speeds for lsd runs long slow distance runs uh i would say no i would i'd say there's a little too much pep under step i wouldn't use it for that but uh yeah i wouldn't use it for that mm -hmm -hmm. man you guys are the best you're just the best okay hopping back over okay oh this is awesome all right from Discord, oh my my, almost 300 people watching. Thanks for sharing the channel every or sharing the live stream. Favorite sprinkle toppings at Andy's? I really love, um, I really love chocolate. 
I'm a big cookie dough fan. Oh, man. Cookie dough, chocolate. I'm not a fruit guy on ice cream too, too much. I like, I love mint chocolate chip. Anyway, there you go. H-Town Q, that's coming from Discord. Okay. I think, uh, let's see. Coming from DHL. Here we go. Any guesses? I think, uh, I might know what's in here. Actually, hold on. Let me get the knife. Here we go. Okay. Onward and upward. Onward and upward. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, my, my. Yes, indeed. I thought this might be it. Okay. Oh, man. It's a good one. Okay, ready? One, two, and three. Who else has picked up the Trail Fly Ultra G300 Max from Innovate? It's finally in the studio, everybody. So, oh, that's exciting. Here's the deal. It's just, I'm just like, I'm just trying. Innovate, if you're listening right now, I'm just trying. Um, these shoes arrived a while ago, and I just haven't had a, ta- a, a chance to even open them up, let alone test them. So, there it is. The, it, let me remind myself, it is the uh, Trailfly Ultra G300 Max. Trailfly Ultra g300 max whoo that's a mouthful okay there it is wow so basically a maximalist trail shoe from innovate which is a company over in uh the uk and uh graphene outsole so one of the what's considered one of the toughest grips on out there in the running shoe marketplace okay so very tough outsole and very exciting very exciting because innovate in the past personally just so you know everyone i have thought innovate is a little firm underfoot kind of like solomon actually so i'm really excited that they innovated and created a, a shoe with a little more uh forgiveness under step okay through that yeah that'll be interesting to see how that midsole opens up over time Woo! Okay, a couple more questions, and then we do have to sign off, start editing for the day, get the uh, get the uh, get the get the vlog done for all of you tomorrow. Oh man! But it's cold dripping. Yes, indeed. Okay. Woo! Daniel, where you at, Daniel? I see you, Daniel. Daniel, 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 where's your question? Okay, my Daniel's over on Discord. Thank you, Daniel, for being a member of the channel. My wife is building her rotation now. She's currently only running in Brooks Ghosts. Do you think the endorphin speeds would be a good complement? I do, especially, you know, but, um, you know, she might not need it. Is she, is she a new runner? No, I think, yeah, if she wants to go a little faster. Absolutely, Daniel. Um, that would be a decent compliment to the ghost. The ghost, you know, daily trainer. Uh, you know, easy day to a certain extent, but definitely just a classic day. Yeah, great. Um, but just let you know, re- remember that there's a plate in there, so it might just feel a little, di- a, a nylon plate. So it just feel a little different under step. A little different under step. Speaking of inside, uh, uh, there you go, there you go. Okay, butter, butter, butter. Okay, let's keep rolling. Daniel, I didn't forget about you, sir. Mm-hmm. Do do do. Mm-hmm. Oh, innovate on the scale. Okay. Whew. You caught me. Man. I'm losing my mind out here. I'm losing my mind because I can't keep track of anything. There's just so many shoes. Uh, this is why I need to if anybody has any ideas. For the design and layout of the next studio, I would appreciate it. Wow, this feels really great, everybody. It feels really interesting. Okay, let's put it on the scale. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a little heavy, but it's not horrible. It's not over 11. Okay, it's 10.6. 10.6 in my size. It'd be a lot, I'd be a lot happier at like 10.1. Um,. But for a training shoe and with that kind of stack height, that's not bad, actually. It's not bad. Um, it's not too, yeah, that's not horrible. All right, there you go. Uh, Mats uh, Idar Sambu. <laughs> sorry for the, sorry for that. Oh, man, this is fun. I, re, I'm, I see you guys on Discord. I see you. Okay, here we go. Whew. 
What is the drop on the speed one? I think it's six or is it eight? It's either six or eight, Vincent. Oh man, I should know that. I think it's eight. Somebody help me out. So many drop numbers to remember. Um, Lawrence. Lawrence. It's on my radar, Lawrence. What does everyone think of Lawrence's comment? Thank you, Lawrence, for being here. And let me just make sure I didn't miss a super chat. I thought I... I don't think so. Okay, I just want to make sure. If I do, you call me out big time in the, in the live stream, everybody. Mm-hmm. The keto runner. It's coming. Yeah, what do you think? Designing my own running shoes someday. Someday, someday. Mm-hmm. -hmm. There you go, Daniel. Daniel, that's the innovation I need, Daniel. Right there, right there. A carousel. Yes. So it could just rotate like a trail one right here, a road one over here. Daniel, now we're cooking with peanut oil. Thank you, Daniel, for being here. Always tuning in. Oh, Amber says, I missed a super chat from David Ernst. David, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. David, I found it. Thank you, Amber. Man, teamwork makes the dream work. Recommend a race shoe for a 300-pound heel striker running his first 10K. Just moved into neutral shoes, Mach 4s. Also, how do I become a member? David, oh, what a great super chat. Oh, I appreciate it. Well, I guess I'll take the easy part first. So you go to the homepage of the YouTube channel and click on Join. Homepage of the YouTube channel. Thank you for asking. That's amazing. And click on Join. And then you'll have three different options there from that menu. And then that'll give you access to these emojis. Like uh, these emojis that right there and a lot of others. So if you join the top two tiers, you can then jump into Discord and go crazy. All right, Discord, for everyone watching right now, if you become a member, everybody can join Discord, you know, all three levels. But Studio Superfans and DGR Race Crew, you can chat and chat and talk and strategize and bounce questions off of each other and figure out, uh, you know, talk about everything under the sun, running shoes, training, uh, racing strategy, hydration, um, outerwear, and even just life. Talk about life. It's been so, I can't tell you how fun it's been over on Discord. So anyway, David, thank you for, and let me just see if I can find it actually and put it on the screen. Thank you for asking about the membership. So to answer your actual question, 300 pound heel striker, um, his first 10 K. Okay. Wow. Hmm. I don't know, David, I don't know your foot strike. I don't know your gait cycle. It sounds like you're transitioning to neutral shoes. Um, and it's your first 10K. So David, I just want to tell you, it's your first 10K. Have fun. Definitely don't stress out about like, you know, it's like you're going to run a PR. That's the beauty of your first 10K. You're going to run a PR. So, um, but at the same time, I realize like you want to do your best, which is exciting. Man, okay. I mean, okay. The Trinusa 13 is an option from Asics, but it's a little... The reason I'm saying it's an option, uh, David, is that I feel the midsole, it's not crazy loosey-goosey. So I want to say the... In, all right, David, here you go. The... In, I'm always going to go back to the Saucony Endorphin Speed 1 as an option for 5K or 10K. Uh, or sorry, for 10K especially. Um, for an, a beginner racer. Okay, Saucony Endorphin. But this guy, it's not crazy loosey-goosey. So I feel like, um, David, the Asics Tri Nusa 13 could actually be an okay option. Um, let's put it on the scale. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 7.1 ounces in my size, okay? I feel very confident that this will give you enough support, David. You know, 300-pound runner, big, strong guy, um, but not be too loosey-goosey through the foot strike, okay? There you go. I really I really do. Asics try Noosa 13. Um, yeah. 
that's awesome. I'm actually, I actually really enjoyed testing this shoe out earlier in, but again, go to a running shoe store, make sure you're, you know, if you do try this shoe out or that you have a good return policy, David, thanks for the super chat. And thanks for thinking about becoming a member. Uh Oh, speaking of member Tion in the house. Come on now, Tion. Here we go. Boom, Tion, newest member. Thank you so, so much, Tion, for becoming a member. I do appreciate it. There you are. Oh, man, Tion, you now have access to Discord. Yes, Tyler, we've been talking about the uh, Speed Ones uh, a lot today. They are on sale in different places right now. Okay. <laughs> Ken, how competitive do you think the Marathon World Majors will be given how close they are? I'm assuming most top runners will only focus on one. Um, I think you're right, Ken. I think it is gonna. I think it is gonna impact the overall competitive. Yeah, it's like you can only do so many. I mean, maybe somebody will do one in September and one in November, maybe. But uh, it's good. You know what it's gonna do, Ken? It's gonna allow kind of that middle tier runner to rise up um, because I think they will. Yeah. Well, it's just going to be, I don't know, Ken, that's a great question. It is going to spread out everything a little bit. Okay. With that, everybody, I hate to sign off, but I do have to go onward and upward. Thank you for all the new members. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for hanging out in the studio for a little jam session. I hope you got a little value out of that. Um, yeah, man, go back and rewatch it if you, oh, no. Oh, no, don't sign off yet. Come on now, don't sign off yet. Ah, David did it. <laughs> Boom. Thank you, thank you, David. You did it. You're a man of your word. Thank you, David, for becoming a member. And uh, you now have access to Discord, okay? Butter to the bread. Thank you so much. And, um... Your Gmail account, so your YouTube Gmail account is the same email that you want to sign up with for Discord, and then it 